Welcome to Chandler Gilbert Community College. I'm Ivana Sherilot, and I'm here to help you get your bearings for your first day and week. To welcome you to the college, make sure all your forms are completed and to orient you to our campuses. So where do we start? CGCC is part of the Maricopa County Community College District, which has 10 colleges, two skill centers, a corporate college, and the district, all located within Maricopa County. CGCC is the ninth independent college of MCCCD and has three campuses and a community. There's a lot to learn about CGCC, its campuses, and its programs. You ready? We've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's start at Pecos Campus. All CGCC maps can be found on our inside page, the internal website for CGCC faculty and staff. On the web, you are able to click on the different buildings and see the offices, classrooms, and conference rooms. We'll show you later how to access that. Pecos Campus is the largest of the three campuses and is located on Pecos and Gilbert Roads in Chandler, a half mile north of the 202 Santan Freeway. Did you know? There are three main entrances to the Pecos Campus, one off of Gilbert Road and two off of Pecos, one at Norman and one at Emmett Drive. Pecos Campus has 10 parking lots on the east, west, and north side of the campus for employees, students, and visitors. In order for you to park at any one of our three campuses, Pecos, Williams, or Sun Lakes, you must have a Maricopa parking sticker on your windshield. Once you have your parking sticker, you can park in one of the many designated employee parking spaces around campus. Let's get to know Pecos. In 1985, Chandler Gilbert Education Center, as it was known, was operating as a satellite of a neighboring college and opened with a few hundred students. It was accredited in 1992 as CGCC and today serves more than 19,000 students annually. That's a lot of students. Woohoo! Talk about student success. Let's get to know Pecos campus so that you'll know where all things are located. Don't worry, we'll go to the other campuses as well so you get to know all about them too. Let's start at the south end of campus, at the large building that's called the Coyote Center. The Coyote Center provides services to new and continuing students, ranging from admissions and enrollment to advising, as well as support of student fitness and athletics. You will find financial aid, the cashier's office, dual enrollment advising groups, career services, student support services, testing, and recruitment here as well. There is a large fitness center and a gym that provides spectator seating for approximately 1,000 to 1,200. Did you know employees of CGCC are able to use the fitness center? Sign up for the semester for $25, go at least 28 times a semester, and get your money back. Talk about an incentive to work out. Check the website and with Fitness Center staff for hours of operation and the best way to get started. When you walk northwest of the Coyote Center, you come to the two original buildings that were built when Chandler Gilbert began back in 1985. Let's start with the newly remodeled Agave Hall. Agave Hall has been remodeled as a new home for music and dance instruction, as well as general classrooms, a community meeting room, and faculty offices. There are two dance studios, a recording booth, vocal choir classroom, instrumental band classroom, a piano lab, and an ensemble classroom, amongst other general classrooms. Did you know the Agave Hall community room looks out over the original courtyard to the east and a new courtyard to the west and is a great room for large events. As an employee, you can sign up for and take classes after hours by requesting a tuition waiver. Just think, you could be learning to play piano, dance, or learn a new language. Let's walk east to Bradshaw Hall, the other original building here on campus. It houses the Rico Copy Center and mailboxes. The Copy Center provides high-speed copying, pickup, delivery, and more. They can help you with regular or big jobs, whatever you need. See how they can help you. Bradshaw Hall also houses Counseling Services, Disability Resources and Services, or DRS, the Computer Lab, the Coyote Cafe, Business Services, and General Classrooms. DRS helps students and faculty achieve success through support and assistance to those students who have a documented disability, medical or psychological diagnosis, or a temporary diagnosis, and who are struggling to transition to college and academic goals. Questions about DRS? Call 75188. Did you know the Coyote Cafe is managed by Chartwells? They offer grill selections, breakfast, lunch, dinner, a yogurt bar, salads, and sushi. You can eat in or find a nice shady spot on campus to enjoy your meal. And if you are catering an event, chart rolls can provide food, drinks, set up, and a tasty menu to serve your needs. The Computer Lab offers one-on-one -on -one assistance to all currently enrolled students and employees about software. Go ahead, there is nothing they can't help you with. 
They also have extended hours, including Saturdays. The lab has computers available for reservation if needed and administers Microsoft certification testing. Talk about a great resource. Now that we've had a snack and gotten help from the computer lab folks, let's head northeast. The next building we'll be stopping at is the building that houses facility services and public safety. Public safety is on the southernmost section of that building. If you have taken the required training to drive a Chandler Gilbert vehicle, all you need to do is call 27280 to reserve the car at Pecos and then pick it up by going to public safety. All CGCC vehicles are located in their designated parking spaces in parking lot 3 on the east side. As we walk north to get to the facility side, we pass by receiving, carpentry, and the maintenance yard. At the northernmost point, we find the facility's maintenance services offices. Facility services is responsible for grounds maintenance, preventative maintenance, custodial services, central plant operations, and for providing other skilled craft services to the college. Did you know you can find the evacuation maps of CGCC on the facility's website? You can also find campus maps and specific building maps on CGCC inside the internal website for faculty and staff at CGCC. We'll show you where that is, the resources available through Inside, and the best way to obtain information later. Let's head west from the Facility Services Building to the main mall area. On the way, we are stopping at the library. The library is a large two-story building, housing books, magazine subscriptions, and has seating for 250 students. It includes study rooms, a library instruction lab classroom, audio video listening viewing areas, and automated checkout. Other services located in the building are the Learning Center, Tutoring and Learning Assistance, Media Center, Information Technology and Media Services, Instructional Staff, and the Dean of Arts and Sciences. Did you know there is a large rotunda at the entrance to the library building? In the rotunda are public art and inside there is an exhibit gallery. Let's head west across the main mall to the Arnett Scott Ward Performing Arts Center, affectionately known as the PAC. President Ward was the first president at CGCC and an avid opera singer. The PAC has 20,000 square feet of workspaces, faculty staff offices, rehearsal spaces, a flexible stage area, and a theater that seats 300. Did you know employee events, presentations, and shows are held in the PAC, as well as a variety of theater, musical, and dance performances? Do you like the theater and performing arts? Take advantage of the events going on each semester by attending free and fee-based events held in the PAC. You'll see why CGCC has award-winning shows in no time. Let's head north of the PAC and towards the Student Center. The Student Center houses office space for student life, a large student pavilion that provides a gathering space for students and features seating for 250. Students can watch sports or televised events while sitting in lounge chairs, playing ping pong, or having a great conversation at one of the many small tables. Did you know the Student Center is also used for employee events and is used for community events such as Empty Bowls in October, where CGCC partners with Chandler Christian Community Center to purchase bowls made by our ceramic students with the proceeds benefiting our local community. Let's head west of the Student Center for a moment and stop at the bookstore. The campus bookstore is run by Follett. Students can purchase their textbooks there and Follett can even check their distribution center and other partners if they don't have the text the student is looking for. It is also where employees and students can purchase apparel, accessories, gifts, collectibles, and technology. Did you know all employees receive a 10% discount at the bookstore when they shop? Just show your badge. And there are times during the year that apparel and more are on sale. You can even check out the website through Inside to see what's available and order online or walk over. Show your pride by purchasing CGCC apparel. Hey, go Coyotes! Let's walk east to the Mesquite Building. It is north of the Student Center. The Mesquite Building houses the Center for Teaching and Learning, the CTL. It also houses the Vice President's offices. We have four VPs for the four main areas of the college. Academic Affairs, Administrative Services, Information Technology and Media Services, Student Affairs, as well as the President. Did you know the CTL hosts the pre-semester adjunct boot camp for all newly hired adjuncts? The CTL also hosts a variety of classes throughout the year to assist with e-learning training, support for faculty, including Canvas, course production assistance, technology training sessions, emerging technologies, instructional application assessment, and research. Let's go east. There are three buildings grouped together. They are Choya, Estrella, and Saguaro. Choya Hall is a very large three-story instructional building that includes 31 classrooms, seven computer labs, a lecture hall, art studio, photo lab, faculty commons, and a courtyard. Estrella Hall is a two-story wing of the Choya building and houses 64 faculty offices and 10 staff spaces. Saguaro Hall is the third building off of the courtyard with over 20,000 square feet, housing four biological science lecture lab classrooms and lab preparation space. 
Did you know Choya Hall, room 110, has a lecture hall with amphitheater-style seating, perfect for presentations for a medium to large group. It is also a popular classroom. Make sure you reserve the appropriate space needed for your presentation through 25 Live. What's 25 Live? It's our facility's reservation system. We'll show you later how to use it. Let's walk through parking lot 5 on the east side. Just north of that parking lot are three buildings, Havelina, Gila, and Jacaranda. Havelina Hall houses three classrooms. Gila Hall is the next building and houses facility resource management and college human resources. Next, Jacaranda Hall houses three classrooms, four offices, and NAU Extended Campus. Did you know you can take NAU Extended Classes right here at CGCC? And early childhood classes are taught in Havelina Hall? Hey, that's pretty cool. Let's walk west to Ironwood Hall. You see that neat bridge? It takes you from the Choya Complex to Ironwood in no time. Ironwood houses physical sciences and has over 57,000 square feet of space and provides a large number of general classrooms, faculty offices, science instructional spaces, as well as a ceramic art studio space. Did you know Grounds for Thought Coffee Bar offers coffee, hot chocolate, and other tasty drinks and is located on the first floor of Ironwood Hall to the west of the main staircase to the Ironwood facilities? Yum, now that I've had my coffee, let's head north towards the parking lots. But before we get there, look at this. It's the ETC, the Environmental Technology Center. What is the ETC? It is a low impact and cost efficient living classroom that provides opportunities to create service learning projects for students and community members. Did you know that the goal of the ETC and SEL, the Sustainability and Ecological Literacy Program, is to enhance students' understanding of sustainable living practices by focusing on experiential learning and collaborative learning? Hey, cool deal! Let's head east and cross parking lot 7. Look both ways when crossing and head towards the fields on the east side of campus. We have three ball fields. One is for soccer, one for softball, and one for baseball. Check the listings when the game schedule is posted and join us on the bleachers as we cheer our coyotes to victory. Did you know CGCC has had several students called up to the major leagues thanks to their start right here at Chandler Gilbert. Before we move on, you may have noticed in the photos that Pecos Campus Building signage has three letters, such as MSQ for Mesquite, so you can see from a distance which building is which. When you get to Williams, you will notice the building signage has four letters. We'll show you that in an upcoming tour. And don't worry, both campuses have maps throughout to be able to help guide you. Now that we've learned all about Pecos, let's go to the Williams campus. Williams is located about 12 miles east off of the 202 right next to the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. Just hop on the 202 from Gilbert Road and head east until you reach Power Road and a quick turn here and there and you've arrived. 